What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, if you're like me and you love drinking, because I like turning off the lights, sitting by myself, and getting wasted, uh, and you're looking for a ref refreshing summer beverage, a Moscow Mule might just be the thing. Now, I, I kind of know, I know that vodka, ginger beer, and lime go into Moscow Mules, and you may have all these things, but making a consistent Moscow Mule can be tough. And one of the things I realized is I bought some pre-made Moscow Mule drink, and it was expensive really expensive and I thought I should be making it on my own and so that's what I wanted to do but knowing what the recipe is and making a consistent glass is tough that's where I found uh, drinking modern they make these glasses with the recipe they call them recipe glasses for different drinks right on the glass I thought it was brilliant uh, in fact I'd love to see it maybe in even bigger containers and maybe like a a plexiglass or a, a you know a plastic uh, type of like pitcher with markings on different sides so I can make one glass or one pitcher or a large pitcher or something like that too. It'd be uh, it'd be nice. This obviously makes kind of one glass of Moscow Mule and you can see here it's kind of like a juice glass and you add vodka to the line, add ginger beer to that line and then you add the lime juice and then you pour it over ice in your Moscow Mule mug and then garnish with a mint leaf or a lime wedge. Now if you like this Moscow Mule mug, and I like these because they get nice and chilled, you can see here, I've got ice in here and the whole thing is cold. Now uh, you can pick this up, follow the link in my description. I, I bought a two pack of these mugs and they're big, they've been great. So the first thing we're gonna do is here is take some of this, I think it's a Polish vodka, Proluska, and I'm just going to fill up the glass to the line. All right, and what, maybe a little heavy, but that's probably fine for most people. Then I'm gonna take some of my Trader Joe's brewed ginger beer. Now you can also use ginger ale, and I have drunk ginger beer in and of itself. It's not an alcoholic beverage at all, and it just tastes like ginger ale as far as I can tell. And I'm gonna take it up to the next line. Looks like there's gonna be plenty to make a, another beverage, should I so desire. And then we're gonna take our real lime juice, and I'm gonna have to open it up here for the first time. And you can probably find a bottle of lime juice bigger than this, but this is what I have. And I'm gonna to top it off. Oh, it's got like a don't drink too much drink, and we're gonna fill that up to the line there. It's gonna add a little <laughs> pucker effect. And as you can see, we have what looks like a Moscow Mule now. That's all it really takes. And we did it all, and we can make multiple drinks for multiple people here pretty easily. And the nice thing is it just be really consistent. Now, the cool thing about this is it makes probably just enough to fill up this mug. So whether you just want to drink yourself or you're gonna make a drink for a few of your friends, what a perfect way without having to remember one part this, one part that, you know, it's kind of a drinks for dummies. And there we go, we have a, a Moscow Mule ready to rock. Peter Von Panda, out.